All right, we got cucumbers ready to go in the ground. Got two different varieties. Join us while we get these ready. Homestead, this is Andy coming to you. All right, the first variety we're going to get in the ground is going to be the straight eight. And the straight eight are the ones that are a lot taller. They came up first. Uh, and we're going to get these along this cattle panel. Just going to do a trench. And I'm going to separate this out. I'm going to do the straight eights just on this opening of the panel. So about eight feet. And then I'll do the pickling cucumbers on the second part of it. Like I said, first thing that we're gonna do is get these straight eight cucumbers in. You can see that we grew these in a 72 cell. Uh, there is some root growth that's on the bottom. So these I feel like are started well enough um, that we're gonna to try to get these in the ground. Uh, these were all double sown for the most part, but they didn't always double germinate. So we're gonna have some extras and that'll be good. So after that, we wound up with about 15 of the straight eight cucumbers left. And with these, I've got these on every vertical section of the post already. I'm gonna go ahead, I'll transplant these tomorrow into solo cups. And that way we'll have those as backups, or we might wind up taking some of these uh, to the farmer's market uh, to get rid of that we uh, are not gonna have planted ourselves.
video we talked about water. We I talked about mine. we talked about replacing this that our hose uh, end had busted I last year. But my father-in-law, father-in-law, and I worked for a couple days with fixing the water that we had because the line that this was hooked up to actually had a bust under the slab. So we are now a lot more pressure and not losing with that. So it should be much easier to water for the whole year and take a lot less time. And we got, we got rain today or yesterday. So this is actually pretty moist, but since we transplanted these, I'm gonna give them a good drink and that way they can get ready to grow for the year. Next, I'm gonna take you guys around and just show you some of the growth of what we've got going on in the garden so far. He must have known there was a frog pond. Look at him hop. You see him? He's right over there on that side. Go to the other side. You see him? Right here. You see him hopping? It's a baby or is it an adult? It's a little baby frog. Yep. All right. Frog pond's over here. Open for business. Okay, you are muddy. Oh my goodness gracious. Hi. You have really enjoyed we playing in the frog restaurant. pond. Okay, watch out. Um, okay. Yeah, you're definitely going to need a bath. We got a restaurant, guys. <laughs> we got a restaurant, frog. Okay, so let's go through a quick tour of the garden of what we got going on. I'm going to walk by the frog pond. Wait, let me pop We'll, we'll go back to the frog pond. You guys saw that in the last video, so let's see uh, what we've got left of the... The lettuce got trampled a little bit by the girls having fun, but um, I'm probably going to have to put something over that just to protect it. I am seeing some good growth here. Uh, if I remember right, this is butter crunch. So that's butter crunch lettuce that's right here. And then we come over with some of our mix. Some of our mix is right here. Getting a little bit more growth there. It's okay. He'll come back. And then we have, he yeah, he'll be back later, okay? Tonight. Tonight? Yeah. He's going to come home? Now, here are our peas, and we planted these, I can't remember, I'm wanting to say two or three weeks ago. It might have been as much as four weeks ago that I planted in the ground just the peas themselves. They've come up to this point. I am going to come back through and do a succession planting. Uh, and that succession planting will just be for some of these areas like right here where there's just a bare spot that there's not any coming up. So I'll have those to fill in uh, and just get a little bit more going. We just put our cucumbers in there. And if you remember, we did our straight eight is going to be this first uh, bit on the cattle panel. Uh, that's what I have left out of that. This entire tray was cucumbers. Uh, we like pickles or my daughter my oldest daughter really likes pickles. Uh, so we did the pickling cucumbers down there, the straight eight here, just for salads and to enjoy. And I'm gonna walk down uh, as if the row was here. You can see this is already coming back up. I tilled this now about uh, three weeks ago. I'm gonna turn it back under before we plant our tomatoes out here. So I'm not gonna worry about tilling it right now until I get right to the time of doing it again. I'm hoping that I can have my big tiller up and running by the time it's uh, ready to do that. So as we walk down here, I can see a little bit further down that we have uh, stuff coming up. That looks like a potato. And we haven't planted potatoes in this area for a couple years. Uh, so it's been two years ago when there were potatoes through this part of the garden. This was potatoes and corn that was in just this area. And that year we had, 
uh, potatoes, beans, and tomatoes down here. And I see that I'm going to have a little bit more work, if you can see the bunny rabbit right there. I thought I was going to have another week to be able to get this done, but it looks like tomorrow I will be restringing this entire fence uh, for the electric fence and just to make sure that we're totally up with that. So I will be making sure that this guy or gal does not enjoy any of the stuff in the garden. Last year we didn't have any problem with them, but I think they live in this thicket right over here on the back side of the garden. And you'll notice that's where the mower hit the lower strand and is missing. So they got clear entry just to come straight in. Don't want that. Let's come down through here. We did our cauliflower our kohlrabi or bok choy and it looks like that is rooting i'm seeing some new growth on these let me zoom back out for you guys so those are looking good so those are looking nice with our plants coming through there's our lone broccoli that we grew from seed uh, we do have some others that we bought, but then up here would be our bok choy and kohlrabi. Uh, this already looks like it is, uh, the pests are getting to that. We've got some neem oil. Um, I don't know if it's just because of what it is, and it's a little bit new to the area, and the bugs like it better. But those do not look happy whatsoever. Uh, looks like it's leaving these alone. This is already even starting to uh, get up and ready to grow Dad, a lot more. I made a birthday cake for the kids. If we come down into this next row, this row that's right here is where the radish and beets were sown by my wife, Sarah. Uh, we also had to come back in there and sow more in there. Strawberries are coming along nicely. We're getting lots of flowers there. Those overwintered and uh, all the new roots that we planted in here I'm getting nothing, but there's some salad mix there that I don't know if we planted this year or if that came back from last year. Coming along, I see obviously you and I both can see there's plenty of weeds that we have to get, but uh, life has been busy. Weeds happen. Last year, we did lots of sunflowers. If you ever want to have sunflowers, just know that they are going to come back fiercely wherever you plant them. I'm going to let these things run wild uh, here in this little patch, but we are not going to plant any others here in the garden because I do not want to deal with this every year in this garden space. I'm going to let them come up and we will probably cut a lot of these uh, to sell at the farmer's market with the smaller ones, uh, which down on the end, our small red ones these should be the gigantic ones and that's just going to be too many in this area so we probably will have to thin them out but we'll let them come up uh so again like i said uh, radish is in here uh and our beets and i don't see a whole lot of anything coming up there so most of that's going to have to be re -sown. if we come down here into the lower this was the first stuff that we planted uh, you can see with our onion sets uh in between the weeds looking very nice some good onion sets that are coming up potatoes have grown nicely we've got to hill those uh, so i will come through probably just with the cart and grab some dirt and actually hill those up since we didn't get to make a hill to begin with uh sarah's flowers uh gladiolas and uh, maybe gardenias i can't remember what else she did there uh, and then if we see here uh, that looks to me like we have some, uh, I think that's the broccoli. Uh, no, excuse me. There's a broccoli that we put out. This may be the kale that we set out. And again, I'm seeing a lot of pest activity on that one. So with that, it's letting me know that we got to do a little bit of something. We don't like to treat it with uh, chemicals, but I am going to probably try some neem oil or something to help that out. I will be coming through with my bench that I bought uh, this past week. Uh, they had them at the grocery store. Actually looks super handy. 
uh, is a multi-purpose bench to be able to kneel on or sit on. That way I don't kill my back out here uh, just going through to get everything done. And last but not least, our two lone cabbage. Hanging out over here, alone in their row. There's a rabbit, Shadow. You want to go find the rabbit? Yeah, go find the rabbit and run it off. Uh, so that is the garden check-in on May 1st of 2024. Hey, thanks so much for watching this episode. If you've enjoyed this, be sure to like, share, follow so that you never miss an episode. We really appreciate it from us here at Mountain View Homestead saying to you, enjoy your life, enjoy your homestead. Until next time. <laughs>